What's up guys? It's Dustin and I have a little bit of a surprise for you guys. Nine years. Nine years ago, this car changed my life forever. This 2015 WRX was my first real dream car. It started everything for me. Modding the car on my own, saving money to buy the parts I really wanted, it meant everything to me. Through the course of those nine years, this car has grown up with me. Graduating college, driving cross country to move to California, it was even in a devastating car accident completely totaling it. And then we sort of rebuilt it and abandoned it. But this year, I wanted to go back to my roots and revive what began all of this in the first place. Today, we completely revived this car to be all that 20 year old Dustin, nine years ago, could have only dreamed about. We're getting this car ready to be displayed on the automotive industry's biggest stage, SEMA. Last time you guys saw this car, we finished up mocking the Varus kit and we dropped the car off for paint. We knew this was going to be a big job so we wanted to drop it off with plenty of time. TSM got to work sanding down the car and the kit and doing a little bit of fitting before we came and decided on the color. What's up dude? How are you? You guys been busy or what man? This is crazy. Before we get into today's video, I quickly want to give a big thank you to everybody who has been here from the beginning, or even if you're just joining us on this journey with this WRX, I want to say thank you. Today's video marks a very important milestone and journey with the channel. This is the car that kind of started everything for me. And in commemoration of actually finishing this car, we have a limited edition Wake From Death Return to Life WRX t-shirt that is live right now that marks the journey of this car. I mean, you guys know everything this car has been through. We're gonna commemorate that with a limited edition t-shirt that you guys can get right now. If you guys head to the first link down the description box below, you guys can be a part of this journey, the journey of this WRX. So again, thank you guys so much. Do me a favor, check out the Legend site and grab yourself one of the WRX Wake From Death and Return to Life t-shirts. Let's hop into it. Getting the right to work. Came in, they gutted everything. Yeah. Like, what the heck did they do? <laughs> what we've been waiting for for so freaking long. And at this point, I have no idea what I'm even painting the car. Uh, I know generally I really wanted the R35 GTR volcanic orange color, but I think we might make a variation of that, adding in some spice to it. But currently, we're here at TSM. They just finished up completely stripping the car, taking the paint down, and they even primered the kit, which I'll show you guys in just a second. Primered and cleared all the holes up here to give it a nice molded look. The kit looks fantastic. So today's mission is to actually look at some paint samples, choose the exact paint, and let them do what they do best. Dude, how crazy dude, is it to look at like this? <laughs> dude, it looks way better than when we started because yeah. look at how like close it is. And like, granted, you don't have this piece here. They'll do more body But like, so. even when you go like this, it sucks it right yeah. up. It's gonna look so, so good when they finish this. And thing. so a nice thing about this too, I mean, I've owned this car for almost nine, 10 years now, nine years. Dude, I think it'll be, brand it'll be nine years the week of SEMA, That's which is crazy. insane. Nine years with this car. But over the nine years, you know, we've, we've developed dings, uh, dents and all of that in the car. But the nice thing about this, since we're getting it fully repainted, they have patched up everything and it's literally gonna look brand freaking new. This is gonna be absolutely insane. So they're just giving us a little mock-up of the kit to show how they're actually gonna mount it and what it's generally gonna look like. And so far it looks absolutely freaking sick, dude. So it's crunch time. We have about a month, what, what's, yeah, about a month until SEMA. So a month to completely transform a car like this, it's a task, but that's what TSM does best. So the main job here was to find a color. I knew generally what I wanted, but I wanted to go crazy. Something I didn't think anyone would see coming. I love the GTR orange, but I wanted to do something a little bit darker. Something with the base of the DGM from the original WRX color, but with the GTR orange on top. It took a couple tries, but TSM knocked it out of the park. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. You're gonna, you're gonna have like light faces and then dark faces. Yeah. Back oh, and forth, no. so I'm so, so pumped you, for this. Yeah, so yeah. Because this car is so, going to be outside, right? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's going to show everything. See yeah. Everything. That's yeah, going to be beautiful. Really yeah. If rain, you just get me, man. <laughs> I don't got to see anything else. Literally, I can't stop staring at it. 
I am so stoked. Just imagine this. I'm just trying to imagine this color on the car with the kit and everything. This is going to be beautiful. Oh my God. Oh, oh. Like, see how it changes when it gets dark? Guys, to the light? I don't think you understand how, like on the level of when I first saw the Millennium Jade paint card for the 35, that is how I feel right now with the Volcanic Orange. Told you guys at the beginning of this build that I wanted this to be a one of one Varus WRX. And I think this color is gonna set everything off from the wheels that we got to the way we're doing the kit with the carbon duct bill. I mean, this is gonna be a one of one, man. I am so damn excited. We're coming out, building the best WRX out there. This is what it needed. This is now, we knew exactly what we wanted, but it's time to make it happen. It legitimately looks like lava. Today is paint day and we are getting the car prepped and ready for the first coats of paint. So pumped right now, dude. That color is wild. The frame literally said it looks just like lava and that's exactly what it looks like. Like we, we took that GTR color, modified it a little bit and it came out pretty insane. So this is the pearl that goes on top of this. We're doing the sealer first. The sealer we put in the ground coat. Okay. And then after ground coat, it'll be about two and a half coats of the pearl. Nice. After that dries, then we're putting about three to, to like four coats of uh, clear coat. Clear coat is good for protection. The more clear you put on, the more it protects it, the longer the paint lasts. So nice, okay. That's what we're so before they go ahead and start painting, this is how the WRX is sitting. The DGM is officially gone. It looks crazy like this. I can't believe we're freaking doing the thing. for today they just have to work on the kit put this thing together and i don't want to spoil the good stuff before we can put it all together so that friend you absolutely <laughs> killed it dude nice you, get, you, should, you chose a nice color it's more than nice dude you killed it i chose the color Efren worked his magic a little bit sprinkled in some good stuff when we created volcanic orange that is insane dude Jams are I know the jams are perfect and the jams really give you a good idea like how I don't even know what to describe it like how diverse the color is over all like the curves of the car it came out really good dude with the kit on this is gonna look unbelievable yeah ever made a good point you could just give it another chance at life yeah. dude because yeah. you guys remember when this thing got hit by the drunk driver ever since then it was never the same no. you know it got totaled and then we just kind of let it, we rebuilt it, kind of let it sit for years. And yeah, now we're just giving it a whole new life, dude. That is crazy. For, for the car guys, you know, yeah. the ones that like the, for sure. these cars and. <sighs> All right, well, next time, yeah. <laughs> next time you guys see us, we'll probably be either painting the kit or, you know, fitting the kit up, making it look all good. Efren, thank you so much, dude. This is yeah. gonna be sick. One last look, here you go. So, while waiting for the bodywork and paint, I was still accumulating parts for the build. Aside from just the kit, we have so much more to install. Oh my gosh, look at that color, dude. Probably my new favorite color for the calipers. Holy... Our new wheel and tire setup is pretty insane, so I knew I wanted to get some crazy brakes to show off. Our friends over at APG Performance Brakes make incredible setups for all types of different cars, but best of all, they're fully customizable. I'll leave a link to them in the description box. We have all the stopping power while still styling. That color is beautiful. What is that color called? It's called uh, titanium. Uh, we have the APG Sport pads, the nice. blue pads. 
Perfect. Yeah, so these are the perfect combo for a street and some track. Nice, perfect. Yeah. So quick recap here. If you guys want to get a set of APG brakes for yourself, you can fully spec these things out. It goes all the way up to eight piston, right? Yes, sir. Psycho brakes. Yeah, on our new website too. We just, uh, we're releasing right after SEMA. Nice. Yeah, it's uh, apgperformance.us. Dope, so you, I will link that for you guys down below and you guys can come see these at CMA at the McGuire's booth. This is gonna be so sick. So we're running these on the WRX and you guys have already seen our set on the GTR over here, which we absolutely love in the blue. So these are actually bigger than the, than the GTR. Yes, they are. These are gonna be 356 front, 345 rear. Cool. Whereas oh GTR God. is a 330 millimeter all around. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, we definitely have the wheel to fit it behind. Does that make sense? The wheel to fit it behind? Yeah. <laughs> it works. That makes sense, right? It works. What you guys will actually see right now. While we fully expected to have the WRX back early enough to have plenty of time to finish modifying it, there was a setback at the body shop, which landed us with two days before SEMA in an unfinished car. This is where it makes or breaks the build. While we're at the body shop, there is a couple of things that we can get done. And that being headlights. Brand new, fresh headlights from Circuit Demon. While waiting for the wide body to finish with paint, we had to get moving. Now we're on a super time crunch. We started out with brand new Circuit Demon Justin, headlights. Can't wait to see the car together, hoping we can work together in the future. Thank you, Circuit Demon. Circuit Demon creates the highest of quality lighting, and for us, they went all out. Oh, the, oh my god, can you guys even see that? Oh my god, that's <laughs> fucking sick. Circuit Demon, that's dope. They used Depot headlights and built them out with Diodynamics Amber Sea Lights, Demon Eyes, and Custom Legends Etching. The install was extremely easy and straightforward. Circuit Demon makes everything plug and play, clean, and easy. If you want to set, I'll link Circuit Demon down below. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think we, I think, I think it's working. Oh, let's rip this off a little bit. Okay, so Demon Eye on, just mm. basic. Now if I do, oh my what? god, that is insane. What? Can you see it on camera? Yeah. Man. Dude, can you find the orange? Oh. I don't know if they have our specific orange. Maybe you're like getting that, there, you're like getting that, there. Maybe? That's not bad. That's actually sick too. Cause I'm going off the color of the legend. Yeah. Maybe a little darker? Yeah, I think that's good. That's cool. Sick. That's dope, man. So just one of the many cool features of the Circuit Demon headlights, but we're gonna continue to install and these things should be done. Amber, and the amber is gonna look really nice with the orange color. That's sick, dude. It looks so mean. Wow, we got rid of all the nasty wiring nest in there. All the features are gonna work. It's all plug and play with OEM. That's sick. Oh, dude, the Legends lights up with the lights. <laughs> you can't see it on you here. You probably won't be able to see it. Let me see this. Maybe if I do this, keep them on. There we go. You can you can sort of see it. Oh, there oh, it is. There it is. That is insane. Oh my god. So, back here in the rear, um, as you guys know, Euro Japan they have reflectors. Here in the U.S. we don't really have reflectors, but the Vars bumper comes with a little area for reflectors. So I had Timbro go out and find us some. This is it, right? Yeah. yeah. Some brand new reflectors. So this guy's gonna sit right in here but the body shop still has to do a little bit of yes i know this is gonna be crazy the body shop still has to do some paint on this car so we're not going to put these in just yet but something else that we got super cool is a third brake light look at this and best part it matches our varus tail lights like to a t it's pretty sick so it's got the f1 blink Ooh. <laughs> So we have, uh, we have tons of really cool things going on in the car. We just have to get this car buttoned up and back to the shop to install everything. So now we just wait for the paint to get done and we'll get this thing back home. Despite the body shop's best efforts, they weren't able to get the car back to us. They continued working into the night, which means now 
We only have two days to complete this thing before it has to be loaded on the trailer and heading to Las Vegas. <laughs> At this point, the nervousness was starting to kick in. Not only was there a lot of bodywork to be done, we have so many small details and parts at the shop that have to get installed. With this time limit, we have no room for error. It is uh, 5.45 right now on Thursday night and uh, no end in sight. I am truthfully extremely worried that the car's not gonna be done tonight. And for context, we have big brake kit, new suspension, carbon pieces, the lighting that we, we've done the headlights. We still have external like underglow lighting. We have the, the, rear, the rear lights. We have a lot left to go in. I'm very, very nervous that this isn't gonna be done and we're down to the wire. To finish the car, they had to do the accents on the front and rear bumper, as well as patch a couple of holes. Unfortunately, with the time, they weren't able to complete everything. We'll have to come back in the morning, which leaves us a little over 24 hours to finish this car and get it ready for SEMA. With time running out, priority number one was getting the bumpers into the paint booth and getting the car in the paint booth to get as much painting done as they could tonight so the car has time to dry for assembly tomorrow. Friday, the day we planned to have everything done. The bodywork was finished, but the car was still missing pieces. The front bumper and gas cap needed to be installed before we could load the car up and head back to the shop. Despite the time crunch and the constant nerves, seeing the car piecing back together makes me so excited. The color and the kit look perfect. It's exactly what I had envisioned. Seeing the front bumper for the first time really set it in for me. It was time to finish this car and get it back to the shop. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. The WRX is done with paint, and it looks absolutely incredible. Now it's up to us to finish this car and get it dialed in. To finish this car, we have brand new Advan Racing wheels, Bridgestone RE71RS, Fortune Auto coilovers, and the APG brakes. Oh, and not to mention all of the carbon arrow from Varus. Time to get to work. I cannot believe this right now. The WX is back at the shop and the paint looks 
fantastic. So it's currently three o'clock on Friday. We have a little bit less, or a little bit over 24 hours until this car needs to be loaded up and going over to SEMA, not to mention the FL5 and the R33. Now that the car is back at the shop, we can get a good look at the paint under the fluorescent lighting, which looks amazing. They took my idea of taking that burnt orange and making it to like a volcanic lava. The paint changes under all different lightings, whether you're outside at nighttime in the fluorescent lighting, whether you like which angle you look at it, the paint color is fantastic. Now the mission is to actually, we got to put this car together. It's basically bare right now and we're going to be completely finishing this thing and getting it ready for SEMA. So this is everything that we have to get this car ready. We've got a lot of work to do, and like I said, we have a little bit over 24 hours until this thing leaves for SEMA. So, we gotta get to work. Our plan of attack was to do everything at once. Tim would take the back of the car and I would work on the front. Brakes and suspension are up first. While we worked on the car, we had our friend James from Beck's Auto Glass come and do some molding on the wide body to get the edges sealed. For suspension, of course we went with the Fortunato 510 series. up, we're going with brakes and suspension. Oh, that's a gouge. That's not That's good. a gouge. <sighs> that is so deep. That's not good. Ah, uh, that gouged me. Yeah, I could probably use a couple stitches there. Really? Yeah. I uh, sliced my hand pretty good. Look at that. Look at that. Progress. We got new fancy Fortunato 510 series coilovers. Gonna be so much better in this car and allow for a lot more adjustability. So now that we have the coilovers done, granted we do have to adjust. So it's gonna come out from here. Next up on the agenda, we are we're making we're making some good time, I feel like. It's currently almost 6:30 right now. So we're we got Tim working on the back, I'm working on the front. Just finished up the coilovers. Next up, we have the ginormous APG brakes. And we went with, they call this titanium. It's almost kind of like a rose gold color, but it's absolutely beautiful. And if you guys check this out, matched with the orange, with the volcanic orange, it's a very nice contrasting color, especially behind the wheels that we have. This is going to look absolutely amazing and we went with their biggest option these are huge they are a massive upgrade to what we already have i don't think i've ever changed these brakes ever in the existence of me owning this car nine years they don't look like it but, all, but yeah but also I, this car only has like thirty thousand miles so actually there, i think there's still a little bit of pad left too let's see there's there is uh a sliver of pad left on the OEM pads that have never, ever, ever been changed. So this is a very, very nice upgrade to what we previously had. So these are gonna be beautiful. These are just bolt-on, very easy with all the brackets, new hardware and everything. These will slide right on and we'll be done with the first front. We've installed so many coilovers, but if you want our go-tos, I'll of course leave Fortune Auto in the description. Now for brakes. APG makes this very easy by providing you with everything necessary to install. Brackets, bolts, spacers, and you're good to go. Look how fat this is. I love it. I love the two-piece. It's very nice. It's Imagine this with the wheels. Everything is so sick. Oh my god, that is so 
so dude. sick. Dude, I'm gonna get back. Oh my god, this is so fucking good, dude. Is it good? Phenomenal. We were trying to decide when I was talking to Alvin, who's uh, my friend over at APG. We we're trying to decide what color to do, and we wanted to do something that would really set off the orange and this rose gold, titanium, whatever they want to call it. That's the right answer. Ow! 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 Dude, it's just sick. After hours of work, brakes and suspension are complete. The APG kit looks absolutely fantastic and the Fortunato fits right at home on the WRX. Now that the bigger items are out of the way, we can start working on lighting and aero. That was extreme. Oh. oh! Yes. Oh, you get it. That's really good. It's <laughs> really good. We've done it. Well, maybe I'm a little ahead of myself here. We're close. We are so, so close. Let me give you guys a little walk around here. Brakes are complete. They look absolutely fantastic. The APG kit is so, so good. And we also, if you look behind the brakes, have the Fortunato coilovers in ready to go. Now, the fun part begins because we gotta adjust this and go up and down and up and down just until we find that perfect ride height. But that's what makes it fun. We're gonna adjust it perfectly tonight and uh, I don't, I'm not gonna show you not the yet. yet. Not yet, not yet, you're not ready for that yet. But if you come back here also, a couple of Tim mods here. Um, Tim took it upon himself to actually find the correct lights for the bumper. So we do have nice reflectors back here. And probably one of my favorite parts has got to be the F1 style third brake light. So, so good. I mean, piece by piece, this car is actually coming together. And it's like hard for me to process everything right now because it's just, it's everything I dreamed of. It's everything I had envisioned when we sought out, uh, even back when we were doing the built engine. Like this is what I envisioned in my mind. And nights like this are the best, dude. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. We're grinding on the car, stressed out, but this is what makes everything worth it. The hard work and when this thing is sitting at SEMA and you guys get to come see it, all of this is gonna be worth it. So next up, Tim, you think, uh, your glow. Look at this. Oh my God. Special, special, special thing show. that we got from our friends over at Dio Dynamics. Underglow. This is something that is bringing my 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 little bit of ricer out. I really wanted some underglow for this car. I loved it when we did it on our giveaway Z. And just for like a show purpose when I'm taking photos of this car at nighttime or at a gas station or something, having the underglow is gonna be so freaking sick and diode makes an absolutely insane kit which we'll show you guys but now that the hard stuff is done i'll say the hard stuff 
we have underglow. Now, we, if you look over here, excuse our little makeshift setup, we have all of our carbon pieces that still have to go on the car. So if you guys think this looks cool, just wait until it's all pieced together with the insane, like look at this. Uh, now just envision, look. Oh, That's oh, it's gonna be good. So now our mission is to do accessory things. Underglow, carbon, wheels ad adjustment, and we're done. Uh, also, I should probably preface this as well. You guys notice we only have one row of lights on. You guys haven't been here since we built this place. This is all running off of completely solar, nothing else. So it's 10 o'clock at night. We don't have sunlight coming down. These lights use a lot of power and we are on a time limit. So that's why we have one row. We're kind of going back and forth, but yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's get to it. Okay. So I actually kind of want to show you guys this. Pretty cool. So these are Advan Racing TC4s, since we are going to be at the Advan Racing Yokohama World booth. What's really cool about these stickers though, is it tells you exactly where to place them and the exact positioning on where the, uh, the number four should be. So we're going to lay these stickers, test fit the wheels and start doing suspension. Oh my gosh. That looks insane. Do this here. That is so much beef. That's all the beef. Look how far the brakes are in. I know. God. These are perfect. Perfect fitment, perfect stance. I want something big, beefy that looks aggressive. Previously, this car was stance, in case you guys don't know, I wanted the exact opposite. I wanted, obviously, the, the flashy stance look, but with all the meat. This car makes 500 horsepower. I wanted some big, beefy RE71 RSs, some lightweight rays or Advan racing wheels, and we did the dang thing. This is amazing. Really, really happy. Piece by piece, the car is coming together. Stepping back and looking at what we've created, 20 year old Dustin would be unbelievably proud. The brakes complement our Advan racing wheels very nicely. With all of them on, it's time to get the perfect ride height. Gosh dang. Like I said, now's the fun part. We're gonna go up and down with the car until we can find the perfect ride height. And once we do, we still have to bleed the brakes. Ooh, yeah, fronts could go more. I think the rears are kind of good. Yeah. Once the suspension was set and the brakes were bled, it was time for our final piece of the puzzle for the night, the carbon Varus arrow. Shout out to Meguiar's. Unfortunately, our arrow had some overspray from being left at the body shop for so long, but the ceramic detailer took everything right off and made it look good as new. Well, we're gonna figure that out. I don't know how far we're gonna get tonight. We're getting pretty close to the end of this power here tonight. Yeah, it's close, but... We're gonna go as far as we can. We've done the suspension, done the brakes, done the wheels, adjusted suspension, bled the brakes, now it's time for carbon arrow. We're gonna get as far as we can tonight, and if we have to go into tomorrow, we will. But first, we're gonna start off with the front lip, which is probably gonna be the biggest change for you guys in the front of this car. We are so tired and delusional, but I feel like seeing this front lip on the car is just gonna make us really, really happy because this front end looks goofy with, with no front lip. This is gonna change the entire appearance of the Varus kit on this car. So next up, front lip. What I love so much about the Varus kit is its ability to tie everything together with carbon arrow. There's nothing quite like seeing a car complete with a Varus kit. It's aggressive yet elegant, which is exactly what I was looking for with this car. We have a front lip, side skirts, fender ducting, and rear spats. I 
I can't believe it. What if I get it right and I'm almost lower and the light just cut off? Don't give that bad juju out. Well, we're not using any power right now. Yeah, 1.30 in the morning and we have officially done it. There's still a couple of little things like the lights that need to go up here in our underglow, but uh, everything that that is the bulk of what we had to do. We've actually done it. We've actually done it. Let's give her a call. Yep, it's full effect. There we go. <laughs> Bring her down. So we can't take it off the lift yet because we'd still, like I said, have to do the lighting. But uh, for tonight, we are complete. And as I told you guys, the carbon bits have completely, completely transformed the way that this car looks. God, the side skirt is so aggressive right here. The front lip. I'll show you guys up here. I will. Holy crap, dude. Go for it. Go for it. Yep. Yep, you're good. You're good. Oh, dude. The fitment, the height of the car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't fucking get it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, it looks so good. It's, it's like my... Like it was, the carbon was what made it. Yeah. Made it look. Like the the kit looks funky without the carbon, but with the carbon, it ties everything together. It flows. The wheels kind of like match the gray and the carbon, and then the gray accents in the front and the rear bumper match the carbon, and like it all just like, it all just goes. What was in my brain when we were just thinking of the idea of this car? What was in here is now right in front of me, and I just can't even believe it. I cannot believe that this is my car, and we freaking did it. The oh my really god! Funny. Yeah, the alignment's really bad. Really, really bad. The wheels like this. <laughs> <laughs> that can all be fixed. Well, the wheels are straight. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Get you guys a rear shot here with, oh dude, the rear is so aggressive. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. They're getting power. They're getting power for the last shot. <laughs> oh my God. Guys, look at this car. It's not even out of the shop yet. It's not even off the rollers. It is so aggressive yet elegant. I love that we chose the duck bill. Oh my God, dude. The color is, it, this. Color of the brakes look sick behind the wheels. Yes. Wheels. Check this out. Really good the wow. I mean, I can't decide what's my favorite. The front or the, like the back is so good with that duck bill and like the little bit of carbon that shows. But then you have the front and you have the massive front lip with like the side skirt extensions. Wow. Wow, and just wait till you guys see the lights tomorrow morning. Tim, it's been a long, long... What time is it? Oh shit. Yeah, six. <laughs> One thirty-seven a.m. So we started at what, eight? Eight this morning, moment of silence and appreciation of how absolutely incredible this car turned out. See you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is uh, officially less than 24 hours away from this car going to see. Uh, all we have left is lighting. We've been working a little bit this morning as well, as you guys can see. Tim bro got the turn signals in, or the, the blinkers in. And then on his side, he's currently working on our new fog lights by Diode Dynamics. So these are gonna be absolutely insane. They are LED. Unfortunately, I have the old wiring harness and we need 
the new wiring harness. So while Tim finishes up his lighting, he actually has to go home, and I thought I would continue and finish what I wanted to get done, the underglow. Diode makes a really amazing and simple to use and install LED underglow kit, and that was my final piece that I wanted to get done on the car. So wiring is most definitely not my specialty, but uh, we're gonna make it work. And there's only one way to learn. We're just gonna do it. Well, everything was wired up. All four corners were on. It's time to test out the underglow. Okay, pay no attention to the disgusting mess that is in the shop, but I believe we figured it out and this should tell us right here. Now, pay no attention to the wiring mess. All of this stuff is going to be routed correctly, but for times, for time's sake and for SEMA purposes, I just needed it to be in here and properly working. So this will eventually run into the car, inside the car. But for now, like I said, it's just gonna stay right here until we can get back from SEMA and route all this properly. But, Theoretically, all LEDs have been stuck onto the car. Let me just close this window, actually. What time is it? 12.53? Nice, okay. Theoretically, everything has been stuck on the car. All four sides have LEDs. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. No, oh, we got Oh my god, look at <laughs> Yes! Oh, and it looks so perfect. It's so bright and good. Like, like, the diode kit is a proper underglow kit. Like, oh, speaking of that, can I change the colors? Will this detect more than one thing? Oh, here we go. Add device. Oh, oh my god. Okay, what color should we make it? Oh, I'm living in Fast and Furious. I'm living... Oh, I'm so pumped! Now we can put this thing on the ground because it's freaking ready to go to SEMA! I feel good. I feel really damn good. Well, we've done it. I am exhausted. Usually we'll film some kind of extravagant awesome, exciting reveal for our new cars that have been completely redone, especially something for the WRX. But unfortunately, we don't have the time to do that. And I really don't want to risk taking this car anywhere before it loads on that trailer and goes to SEMA. So I think uh, I'm gonna leave it on the rollers. I don't want to see it fully on the ground just yet. I want to have a, a true reaction for you guys. It's currently almost 1.45. I'm gonna go upstairs eat, rest for a little bit, and we'll come back either sunset or nighttime to really get the effect of the lighting, the color, and just everything, and give you guys a proper reveal of this thing, 100% complete and ready to go to SEMA. I cannot believe we did it. 6.30 at night. We have about 12 hours until we head out for SEMA, and it is going to be the first time ever that this car is complete and will be sitting on the floor. Like I told you guys, it took a little bit of a break, but now, it's, but now it's time to come back, set this thing on the floor, pull it out of the shop, and... And our build complete and ready to go. Still an absolutely surreal feeling. It doesn't even feel real right now, but... Tiana's gonna meet me down here. She's gonna see it for the first time and let's finish this car, guys. Okay, for the first time ever, this thing is gonna be on the ground, actually complete. We got T-Money here. What do you think? She's a beaut. It's insane. It's... 
the camera doesn't even do it justice. No, okay? you, it's so good. You really have to see the color in person. But we haven't even really seen this thing on the ground with the new stands and the tires. We've had the wheel. And the lights. We've had the wheel mover things around. So I'm going to get this thing off of the lift. We're going to pull it out. And I was telling them that we usually do a crazy reveal, but we just don't have time, unfortunately. But So, <laughs> this is a crazy reveal. <laughs> Look at it sit. Yeah, it desperately needs an alignment. She's on the ground. Oh, man. And it is actually complete. The real test is the drive test. I want to see what this thing looks like out of the shop, in front of the shop. Like when we met, this was the only car you had. This was it. And now it's sitting here in front of your own shop that you built with all your other cars that you now have. And like the most dream spec that I could ever imagine. Built engine, custom paint job, various kit. I literally cannot believe this. Dude, the orange. It's so orange. good. It is unreal. Oh, wait, you know what? Wait. Oh! <laughs> oh, man! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you joking? Look at this! I literally cannot. The camera doesn't do it justice. Look at it over here. It's probably more dark over here. Yeah, it's too dark outside, but oh my god. We really did it. We really freaking did it. Moments like this are what I do it for. All the late nights, stress, hard work, it all pays off tenfold. Seeing my dreams unfold before my eyes is something I'll never take for granted. I wish 20 year old me truly knew what he was capable of. I'm so damn proud of what we've built. Staying true to myself and working as hard as I can, I can truly say I've built my ultimate dream car. Well guys, with that, my exhaustion is uh, definitely, definitely catching up to me. And I, I really wish we could do this car justice by taking it somewhere really cool, aside from just being at the shop. But like I said, I do not want to risk anything at all happening to this car before it leaves literally in 11, 10, 11 hours. Yep. So we'll, we'll do something cool after SEMA, but for now, you guys get one last look of it. Look at it here in the shop. I have got to still edit. I've got a pack for an entire week in Vegas. And I've got to, in some point, get a little bit of sleep so I can at least be there whenever all of the car, we, oh my God, this isn't even, we have four cars. We gotta finish the 34 in the, 30, got a lot. God. we gotta finish the 33 in the morning. So I'll have front lip and wheels on that. And then we gotta load everything up and. So you're gonna for probably 17 minutes tonight. <laughs> um, seriously guys, like I said in the beginning, thank you so much to whether you were here from the beginning with this car or you are just now joining us on this journey. This, this, this car has been through everything with me from 
driving this thing across the country to start a new life in California, <laughs> to basically living out of it, to meeting my wife Tiana back here, to getting absolutely annihilated by a drunk driver, to then building it, abandoning it, letting it sit while we just accumulated everything that you see in here, to now being our most completely crazy built car that we have ever done. The WRX has come full circle to be what 19 or 20 year old Dustin could have never dreamed of. I just have to say thank you guys so much for being on this journey with me. If this shows you anything, if I can do it, so can you. Trust in yourself, do what you love and just have fun and things have a way of just working out. Now this is gonna be shown in front of the largest stage in the automotive industry along with three other of my cars. If you guys wanna be a part of this amazing journey and just a part of the channel's history, make sure to check out the Legend site, grab yourself one of these wake from death and return. Well, uh, my camera died, so that is our, that is our, th that's our cue. I am rambling, oh. you guys know how, what I, words. Good night, <laughs> we'll see you guys for SEMA. Tomorrow's video is 33, so make sure to check that out because that car's crazy. I'm, st I'm still going. Okay, peace out. Thanks. <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe and okay. please comment. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>